Welcome to another live patching session. This is always Giovanni here at Fraptus for another improvised patch based on three techniques that I just picked from our website. And you just heard the very end of this video and the result I'll uh, reach with a lot of trial and error as usual. So today's random picks are the unvoiced input, the Usta envelopes number one, and the through zero modulator sequencing. We already used uh, a couple of them, even if uh, not exactly the Usta envelopes number one, but I'm mostly interested in the unvoiced input technique because it never appeared in this live session, random picks. With Usta Envelopes number one, we program a sequence and then program a parallel stream of raw voltages that we will set to the green color and then we will use them to modulate something. We will see what. And uh, with the True Zero FM modulator sequencing, we are going to set up uh, another CVB sequence that we will use to modulate the oscillator, the modulator frequency and then we will try to blend everything with Fumana and with the unvoiced input. So I think that first thing first, I'm gonna need a sequence and this is where I usually speed up the video. Okay, so this is our base uh, sequence. I think that we can start uh, with the Usta envelopes number one. So I'm going to replicate the exact technique by first setting up a pattern of short gates that I will use to ping my brain so circuit. Like this. And then I will set uh, all my CVB values to the green color so that Usta will slide and integrate between this value and this one instead of skipping from one another. And uh, I will stick to the original patch. So I will use this to change my through zero FM amount. like this. I can play with different stages. And see how this creates a whole different timbre. Then, while I have my sequence playing and I have all the track set roughly to the same resolution, I can set uh, the CVP. So this is basically the Usta envelopes number one. I can play with different values here. And you can hear that since I am changing the modulation amount, a different carrier frequency will provide a different tone. And this is where I intend to 
put my CVB off track too. As I say the last time, I'm using CVB uh, off track two, so basically raw voltages instead of quantized voltages to change the frequency of my modulator oscillator because I don't need it to be in tune with the equal temperament. I need it to be a precise frequency that create the sound I need over the carrier one. So for example, if I open my frequency modulation right now, you can hear that the sound is quite dissonant. But I can pick, for instance, a specific interval which is consonant enough. But I can change my voltage through the CVB that I pass to the volt productive input and precisely tuning through the fine and the coarse tuning functions. Hold down the coarse button and rotate the stage encoder to increment the value by 0.5 volts and hold the coarse and the ESC button to fine tune it by the millivolt. Or I can play even with dissonant intervals like this one. Stuff like that, so that whenever I play my sequence, it's gonna sound like this. Then I can change the modulation amount here, like this. It's a very, very nasty sound. And since we have such a rich sound, we can tame it with Fumana and try to incorporate our third technique. Now we need to... If we patch any sound, like in the previous patch we used... Uh, well, in the original technique we used the Sapel's white noise, which we don't have here. But, for example, we can... Uh, so the whole point of this patch is using an external sound patched to the main input, to the unvoiced input. I'm going to use uh, Falistri set to whatever pitch. And uh, a modulation sound that, we will, that will excite our bands. So if I patch it here, you can hear that whenever this sound that I patch here, which is the green oscillator, the so I'm, I use the so you, you hear that it is slightly out of tune it's because it needs we, we better appreciate its tuning when related to the yellow oscillator we are using it just for modulation purposes but if I use it to modulate my sound so I'm gonna add a further degree of modulation 
You can hear the sound of Falistri appearing whenever these two bands are hit. Here. For example, I can patch here another sound, another, another oscillator coming from the brain, so for example the sine wave, even if it is going to be less noticeable. So my idea is perhaps to use this phalistry here. Or perhaps I just had another idea that I, if it works, I may convert it to a technique by itself. So my idea is to use the reverb to send this one to the reverb, but instead of putting my reverb return back into the quad stereo channel, I, I want to try to patch it in the patch it over the unvoiced input and see what happens. Let's see, for example, this one. Yeah. You can hear it. Not too bad. I want to add some swing to this whole patch. So I'm gonna add, uh, I don't know, 10% 10, 10 swing. The only thing is that I don't like, or I don't particularly like the sound of this brain so being modulated by, again, by the green oscillator. So my idea was to set, uh, perhaps I can patch my Ah, as you can hear, we are creating also some feedback. It makes sense because this is being routed to the reverb. So we are like creating a very controlled feedback loop. Well, th I think I'm gonna shoot a technique on this specific use of the unvoiced input, which is not too bad per se. But my idea is to patch this one here. So now Fumana is exciting only the 14th and 15th band and letting just the reverb of this channel pass through. I set it to pre-fader mode so we can hear it even if my even if uh, the fader is fully counterclockwise. And then I think that I can patch my uh, green, my yellow sine wave here to see what happens.
I can play with the release time. To have a softer modulation. And perhaps I can patch another portion of my reverb to where it belong should belong like this. And I think that I just need a little bit more of articulation compared to the previous version of this patch which I think I can obtain by using uh, our Falistri here so I'm gonna set it to I'm gonna set both envelopes to transient mode and set a parallel CV gate pattern here that I will use to change this amplitude. And since I have one track running like this, I think that I will use its gate to trick this other Falistri here. And finally, use it to add more accents, for example, here, a classic. Yeah, perhaps it is not too, it is too subtle to be audible, so I think that we can try and route it here. Or even here. Okay. So we have the Usta envelopes number one changing the frequency modulation amount. We have the second track CVB changing the modulator frequency. So we have the true zero FM modulator sequencing. And then we have the reverb looped back to the unvoiced input. You can see the blue LED flashing, which is being activated by 
the modulator, which is sequenced by the Gustav sequencer, which provides this shh shh every now and then. I think that we can cap it here for today. I hope you had a good time, and I will see you next time.